Here's a video I've been wanting to put together for a while now. It's going to showcase my collection of PSA graded Topps gold cards, whether it be uh, base or update or traded or whatever. But uh, it's mostly baseball, uh, a couple football, some basketball. I'll start off with this uh, 92 Topps gold Shaq rookie, which may be his best rookie card nowadays. It has seen a substantial uh, leap in price. Over the last few months, I want to say that started like around February time frame. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. This may have been pumped up by an influencer, as they call it. I'm not positive there, but I don't understand why that has gone up in value so dramatically. Um, and it's from the Junk Wax era, so I don't know what other card might be better than that, to be quite honest. There's a stadium club. There's um, an upper deck. Um, but I don't know, that might be, and I like that card, of all his rookie cards, I do like that one the best, I think it looks the best, so here's a Mucina, this is not a rookie card, or is it a rookie card, I think he has a 90, oh, this might be his, he's 91, no, he has a 91 Flare Ultra Update, I believe, so, but anyhow, it's his first Topps Gold card, and uh, these are not numbered, they didn't start numbering these to the specific year uh, until 2001, and somebody recently confirmed that for me, um, but still a nice card. I think I paid like a, a buck and a quarter for this, um, which might have been a little bit of an overpay. It was just before he went, or it was in anticipation of him getting uh, nominated for the Hall of Fame a couple years ago. Uh, here's a 92 Topps Gold Brett Favre. This would be a second-year card. Uh, not unlike the Mucina, I guess. Um, and I think I might have also overpaid for this. Uh, I want to say it was around... I think hundred dollars, either a hundred, it might have been a hundred or one hundred and fifty. I think it was a hundred, and they were so hard to find. And I found one, and I think I had to buy it now. And then, of course, what happens is not long after, like several appeared on eBay and were selling for like thirty to forty dollars. So, um, okay, uh, this one is uh, ninety-two tops gold uh, basketball. It's Alonzo Mourning, rookie card, great player. Had some injuries that kind of derailed his career a little bit, but still a fantastic basketball player. Alonzo, Zo, and from my Jordan collection, the 92 Tops Gold, and these, this one, saw a dramatic boost in price as a result of that uh, documentary special, which I can't believe it's already been three months since that thing came out. Um, yeah, so all Jordan's cards saw a dramatic leap in price, not surprisingly. Um, and it's probably come down, I haven't looked lately, but it's probably nowhere near its peak. Um, I think... I think it was like three, four dollar card, I mean, maybe more. I don't know, but it's not that. I don't think it's that anymore. Um, I paid like thirty five dollars for the thing like five years ago or something. Um, okay, here is from the early days of collecting PSA graded cards. A ninety two tops traded Sammy Sosa gold, and a mint nine, no less. For whatever reason, I was averse to buying PSA 10s, either because of economic reasons or because I didn't think it was worth paying PSA 10 pricing back then. But, uh, yeah, I didn't start. I don't know when I was. I got my first PSA 10. Oh, I do know the first PSA 10s that I bought. It was a 2001, uh, what's that? Uh, the Upper Deck it had uh, Ryan Howard and David Wright in it, like rookies, uh, SPX rookies or something like that. Anyway, yeah, those are my first ever PSA 10s. And they weren't even that expensive, like 20 25 bucks, I think. Um, all right, here's a Mattingly, 92 Tops Gold, back when I endeavored to uh, collect all Mattingly cards in PSA 9 form. And uh, fortunately for me, after getting about 10 deep in this little exercise, I decided to call it quits, um, thankfully so. But still a nice-looking card. And... Um, Okay, from 92 tops. Again, we're still on 92s, right? Yeah, this is Nolan Ryan. Gold, tops gold. And then this one I just showed in my last video. This was my best card from 92, the Griffey, and a tops gold variation. Uh, 93 tops gold, Michael Jordan. Hard to see it, but it's definitely, I mean, it says it on the slab, but you can see the gold foil there on his name. Another great looking Jordan card. Um, this is also a great looking card. This 93 Tops Gold Griffey Jr. I've seen they've, they've reused, reused that pose. Jeez, I can't even talk. They've reused that pose a few times on subsequent insert cards from Tops. Um, <laughs> 93 Tops Gold Nolan Ryan. I'm looking for a 94 Tops Gold Nolan Ryan to finish out my sort of Ryan run. 
and very difficult to find. I, I've seen one in the last 12 months show up on eBay, sold for like a buck 80. Even the base Nolan Ryan uh, 10s sell for around $150. And I'm not sure if it's because no one sends them in, and so therefore they're not very common. Um, I'm not sure why it, it, it's so expensive for a 94 card, uh, base card at that. Um, but it is what it is, I suppose. Here is uh, Griffey's from 94. Um, yeah, so I'm in the market for that. And all right, so that'll conclude the non-numbered. And I'm not sure what the if the the print runs five thousand or ten thousand on these, but uh, we're going to get into now two thousand and one and up, where each of these is numbered to the particular year, which I like a lot because you know what the quantity is. Um, and so these three I've shown at various points in the past, maybe in the background of some Friday Night Filth videos, but probably my favorite tops gold cards. You know the Ichiro. Which is a huge card. Even the the base card is a big card. The the regular tops. It's I think I checked recently. A PSA ten is now well over a thousand dollars, which is just crazy. I have a PSA nine um, that I paid like forty bucks for many many years ago, but tens. I mean, it's a thousand dollar plus card. It may have something to do with that tops project twenty twenty. I don't know. Or it just those are really condition sensitive cards because um, I mentioned in my. Um, year by year video that I'm giving up in my Henderson registry run because the 2001 tops Henderson sell for three to 400 bucks and uh, I'm not interested in paying that. So, um, yeah, here's the pool holes, which I also just showed great looking rookie card. And then the, uh, the dual card, uh, Ichiro and pool holes, uh, tops gold in 2003. I have the Robinson Cano rookie card. This one I paid eighty or ninety dollars for back uh, during his prime. Uh, it has certainly fallen a fair amount since then. Um, you know, I'm not sure if he is a uh, Hall of Fame candidate or not with the PED suspension and all, but definitely, uh, I mean, uh, just a really good player. I really loved Robbie Cano when he was on the Yankees. Um, okay, 2005, we got the Verlander rookie card in a nine. I guess I tend to skew towards nines. I got a couple of tens, but mostly nines in the tops gold just for economic reasons. The tens are certainly very expensive. In fact, you know, I had put a PSA 10 version of this card in my eBay watch list last summer. It didn't last very long. It sold quickly for six seventy five. dollars um, This I paid like two and a quarter for. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of upside in that. He's definitely a Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer. Another guy that, you know, maybe also uh, Max Scherzer. Again, another PSA 9. 2008 Tops Update and Highlights. I would like to get the Clayton Kershaw from the same set. Um, and then now we're, what do we got? 2008. So now 2010, uh, Tom Brady. Just like the way this card looks. This is not an ex $35 card, maybe. Uh, great looking card of Tom Brady. And I sort of. Semi PC Tom Brady, I guess. I have like a dozen or so cards of his. Um, yeah, so I just picked it up because I liked it, like the way it looked. And here is a recent pickup, Steven Strasburg, 2010. And a few left here. I got from 2011, I've got the Freddie Freeman, another great ball player. Christ, I think he was just, um, uh, he really had a bout of COVID. Uh, he was. I was reading on uh, online about he, he got real sick. Fortunately, he's he's recovering. But um, yeah, Freddie Freeman, top school rookie. And uh, this one has probably come down. I haven't looked lately, but uh, before the cheating scandal, this was a very desirable card. Uh, maybe not as much these days, but the Altuve from 2011 Tops update, which is an absolutely loaded set. Um, yeah, Topps Gold and a 10, Altuve. I think I paid like $110 for this card when I bought it. And then at one point I saw it had jumped to like around 500 And then it's probably come back um, a little bit because of the allegations. Um, and then lastly, I have a Nolan Arenado from 2013, Topps Update. I bought this. I was a little worried. I bought this uh, at the top of the market heading into the 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 shutdown from COVID-19. I bought it in March. Um, but no, not at all. In fact, quite the opposite happened with sports cards. Everything went up and in some cases exponentially so, which wasn't expected. So um, you can't, uh, 
you, you, you can't predict baseball season. You, you, re- you really can't. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's a, that's my uh, John Sterling impression. So anyway, that'll do it. Um, thanks for watching and more to come. Hopefully uh, soon, sooner than later, we'll, we shall see. And uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's a wrap.